here we are a little bit over halfway up the uh, the bell tower and it shows you how severe the weathering has become the stone has deteriorated to a, a, a terrible extent that's why we have to replace the stone it's been subjected to 150 odd years of of rain hail and shine uh, sandstone is held together with natural cement that holds the sand grains together unfortunately that that cement is water soluble so after 150 years of, of rain washing down the walling and being absorbed by the stone, that cement is being uh, re-dissolved, leaving leaching out of the stone and leaving the sand grains uh, exposed and, 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 and loose again. Um, this course here, the weathering course, it's all getting replaced. Every stone is getting replaced. Um, the, the weathering has got to them pretty bad um, and they pretty much act like a little awning for the wall. When it rains, the water runs down the face of the weathering it has normally a, a drip mould right on the, on the sharp angle and another drip mould underneath it. Two points of the water would shed clear of the, the building. So they're pretty much designed to protect the walling underneath them. Um, as you can see the condition they're in, there is no drip moulds anymore, there's no sharp angles, they're all weathered away. So we're going to be replacing this entire course all the way around the building. Um, also all the buttress weatherings need replacing. Um, yeah, a lot of stone has to be cut out and shaped and uh, reinstalled again.